What's up guys, this is James from Basketball Noise and today I'm going to talk about why Wish.com sponsor the Lakers. We're going to do a bit of a competition, pretty straightforward. I am going to give away the Jordan jersey, which I did in our Jordan jersey review from Wish.com and to be in with a chance to win that jersey, all you've got to do is like this video and subscribe. If you are already a subscriber to our channel, just like this video and you'll be entered into the draw. Now. As you may have noticed, on the Lakers jersey, there is the little Wish logo. If you don't know what Wish.com is, it is a low-cost retailer. You purchase a product. It takes a number of weeks to get here because it comes from China, um, but it is super, super cheap. And Wish.com spent $30 million to be the sponsor of an NBA team. And I believe they are undoing all the hard work they've done to get that sponsorship. You know, the Lakers didn't want to be sponsored by them, but Wish put together such a good deal that the Lakers had to take it. They took that three-year deal for $30 million, okay? It's a lot of money uh, to, to sponsor a team. But there's a problem with Wish.com. As I mentioned, we did a review of a Michael Jordan jersey uh, that we purchased from Wish.com. You can see it here, and I'll put the link in the description. Um, and the problem I've got with Wish.com is when I purchased that Jordan jersey, the cost of it was about 10 bucks. You know, it, it wasn't a lot. You know, in pounds, it was probably about, you know, 12, 13 pounds. And then the last dance came out. So who was ever creating that jersey up the price a little bit? Fair play. OK, all right. OK, you need to make your money and it's not legitimate, but that's a way of making money is up in the price. That's fine. However, the more and more I go on Wish.com, the more and more the jersey prices are going up. And I'm just not talking small amounts. I am talking big amounts. You know, asking for about 30, 30 pounds for a jersey, which is probably about, let's work it out, it's probably about 40 bucks, which is a lot of money, you know, like, we did a video about how to save money on buying jerseys, and I'm pretty sure, and I'm gonna do it at the end of this video, I can almost get to a point where there's not too much difference from buying a real jersey and a wish.com jersey. Um, I'm gonna put that at the end of the video. That is a challenge I have set myself. I am gonna do that, and I'm gonna see if I can get a jersey for a similar price to a wish.com jersey. Exactly the same specifications. But the problem I've got is that Wish.com are sponsoring an NBA team, okay? And why are they selling fake jerseys on their website? It makes no sense to me. I don't know why the NBA have stopped it. Um, it's not like Wish.com are an official supplier of the jerseys. We all know that's Nike. Uh, and I'm just absolutely baffled by this. I'm really intrigued as to why the NBA hasn't stepped in and said, nope, I don't know why you're producing these fakes. I'd expect them to say, if you're, if you're selling these fakes, then you cannot sponsor an NBA team. That's what I'd expect them to say. It is very bizarre, and I think it's actually damaging their reputation. So Wish.com sponsored the Lakers because they wanted to increase their fan base in America. Um, you know, Lakers is absolutely a worldwide brand. It's like your Manchester United if you talk about soccer. You know, everyone knows who they are. If it's baseball, everyone knows who the New York Yankees is. And it's the same with the Los Angeles Lakers. So if you're trying to get to a wider brand, then why are you selling fakes on your website? It makes no sense at all. Like, you know, if you're a Lakers fan in America, are you going to go on Wish.com and buy a fake jersey? I don't think so. You're going to probably go to Fanatics or you're going to go to the NBA store or you might even pick up the merch at the game. So why would you go to Wish.com? Obviously, there's other stuff on Wish.com, um, but I, I just had to get this off my chest today because it's really frustrating me because I went on Wish.com and someone had put some apparel on there, NBA apparel, and it's just hideous. I'm gonna have to. Sh I'll, I'll, I'm gonna put it in now. But basically, what it is is someone's produced an Oklahoma City Thunder hoodie. However, that person doesn't really know that it's the Oklahoma City Thunder, and has called them the Oklahoma City Knicks. Now, <clears throat> I think it's quite safe to say 
The New York Knicks, yes, we know about them, but there's no Oklahoma City Thunder Knicks or there's no Oklahoma City Knicks. So um, I put this on my basketball group and we were all laughing about it because it is embarrassing that Wish.com are not even checking out what people are putting on their website. And then as you scroll through, and like I searched for NBA, as you scroll through, you know, there was just stuff that was not relevant to NBA. You'll see it in the you'll see it in a few seconds what happened. And um long story short, yeah, they're just throwing everything at you. Um I got offered a discount of a jersey, you know, one of these 40 pound jerseys, and um two pound discount. Like that's nothing. And one of the other things that's really starting to frustrate me when I go on there is the up the prices. So, for instance, um, they'll show um, a pair of £596 worth of shorts. So they're saying that the Miami Heat shorts are worth $600 or more than $600, closer to $700. It's crazy. And they're expecting you to believe that there's a 96% discount on the shorts. Like... It just blows my mind. <laughs> and yet they sponsor an NBA team. If I was in charge of Wish, I would really, really, really be saying, why are we selling these fake jerseys? It just, I just can't believe that they are doing it. So I, I, I just think, I, I, I'm going to go through the Wish site now. You're going to see what I found. Um, and it's just going to back up my case more. Like, I just don't get why Wish sponsor the Lakers when they're then sort of throwing all the fakes on their website. It just it just doesn't make their whole sponsorship legitimate. I, I'm really surprised there's been no action on this. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to go through Wish... Um, now I'm going to show you what I found and then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go through the um, a comparison between me trying to get discounts um, through the various methods which I mentioned in the video the other week and from wish.com and let's see how close we can get the prices together um, and hopefully I, you know if um, you've got a choice of buying a jersey from wish.com for say 40 or 50 bucks and I can get you a real jersey from Fanatics or the NBA store for, you know, 60 bucks. Which one are you going to choose? I'm definitely going to be choosing the real one. Um, the, the big thing I've seen on Wish recently is they've also started doing these connected labels. If you're unaware, on the Swingman jerseys, there's a connected label. And you take your app and you um, scan the uh, connected label and it comes up with additional hidden um, features about the team and the jersey you're wearing but <clears throat> yeah long story short I just can't believe that they're allowing a uh, wish to do this um, so yeah this is this is my rant basically I have got a little bit frustrated with wish I think the sky rot rocketing prices is starting to get a bit ridiculous um, Basically, what I'm worried about is it's not really worried. I don't know why I'm worried about someone else, but what I'm really concerned about is what happens if there is like a kid who asks his mum for a Lakers jersey and she doesn't know anything about basketball. Like my mum, she might know who Michael Jordan is at a push, like maybe, right? And you know what happens if that person buys the fake jersey of wish.com and then gives it to the kid. The kid's going to get ridiculed because his mate's going to be like, that is fake if if we've ever seen it. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go through the wish.com site now and you can see what happened. I saw this the other day and I took a picture and I sent it to my basketball WhatsApp group and we just couldn't believe it. But this product here, people who don't have knowledge of basketball will be buying this hoodie. All right, Oklahoma City, great. We know what Oklahoma City is called. It's Oklahoma City Thunder. So why is it Oklahoma City Knicks? There's only one Knicks, and they're in New York. It makes no sense, and someone's going to give their money to these people. Is there no credit control? What are they doing? This is the stuff that drives me mad about Wish. 
Okay, so this is the Jordan jersey I bought, and you will see a review of it um, up on your screen. I'll put a link in the description. You know what? It was okay. When I bought it, it was 10 bucks. 10 bucks? 10 pounds. Uh, it, it wasn't a lot of money. Obviously, the last dance has pushed this up by nine quid. But then you start looking at other jerseys, and the pricing is starting to get a bit ridiculous. Like, £31, £26 for a jersey? Like, I, I just don't get it. And I, this is where I struggle with Wish, because we know this is fake. This will be 100% fake. The connect down here will not work. Like, let's see what happens, right? Let's put, right, it's going to be small, so we might as well go for the biggest size because, you know, <clears throat> I've got a dad bod. Let's just say that. You click buy. Let's see how much we get off. Bet you, two pounds. Here it comes. This is the team they sponsor, and they're putting a fake on there i just it makes no sense like seriously if i was the lakers i would be losing my shit right how much have we got off oh i've got 54 minutes to buy this oh let's see the discount there we go two pounds great that's a no So, like, if I was the Lakers, I'd be going mad. Why are they selling you fake jerseys? No point. Like, oh, I, I can see why you buy some stuff off Wish. Like, I've tried it in the past. The sizing always has caught me out. But you know what? Really? These shorts are £567 and now 96% has been taken off it. I, I think that's the biggest load of rubbish I've ever heard. So where I think Wish is good is for stuff like this. You know, the Bel Air Academy. Yeah, that makes sense because there is no official, you know, trademark jersey. Whereas all these you can get from NBA store or Fanatics and they'll be a million times better. And if you're thinking, oh, I won't get them for that price. Well, you need to check out how to get our NBA jerseys cheaper video, which we did, and I'll put a picture of it on it here, and I'll do a link in the description because trust me, you'll get a brand new jersey closer to the, like that price than um, buying a fake one. You know, I'd rather pay like an extra twenty quid and spend forty five quid getting a decent jersey. Okay, so, you know, I don't get why anyone buys DVDs anymore because everything's on YouTube. But, you know, you got all these... I just look at them. I just I just know this is going to be bad. I just, I just know it's not going to be up to the standard. What else have they got? They've got Spurs. Like, you know, I typed in NBA. What has this got to do with the NBA? Why is there a shirt? Why is there... Why is there lacy stuff, right? No one wore lacy when I was at school. And now, you know, you expect kids to wear it today. Absolute rubbish. Um, okay, so again, like I said, Bugs Bunny. Okay, £15. Unique sort of piece if you're going around town because you're like, oh, you've got um, the jersey from Space Jam. But seriously, these, I just, I'm going to order one when I'm not feeling so tight, because at the moment I'm feeling pretty tight, and, you know, £19. I'm going to put that in my bag. I might buy that. I might buy it. Just, but it's just, oh, it's just awful. Here comes T-Mac. Also, this jersey was £567. And, uh, yeah, oh, I've put the pointer on. Let's turn the pointer off. And now it's £19. Seriously, I just, I, it's, it winds me up more. Like, <laughs> you got to be really tall for this jersey. And, I, you know, I can see why people get stuff like this because, you know, it's good for wearing in the summer when you're going out. But I'm just... Like, 
just amazed. I really don't think. Like again, it's just, it's just awful. Fakes everywhere. No idea. Get this NBA All Star jersey. Like oh, they've obviously gone to a lot of trouble to get this accurate. You know. But again, this is all fake. Like you literally might as well just go throw your money out the window. Um, yeah, and so that is what I think about this. I just, oh, I just not really impressed at all. Should we? I'm doing a comparison from wish.com whereby they are a replica jersey or fake in other words um, against um, you know the NBA site or fanatics so this jersey is 28 pounds I got a pound discount which runs out soon um, so it's 28 pounds but shipping is 10 pounds okay so it comes to 38 pounds in total okay so if we go to the NBA store okay I, they didn't have the debt the shrimp one in stock um, but they had Gary Payton so what I did was um, I signed up to the NBA newsletter <laughs> using 10 minute email um, and then I also um, so I signed up to the new NBA newsletter and got a discount uh, of 10% um, there was already a reduction in the price there's like a 15% sale on NBA um, store today so it was usually 80 so it's already been reduced i've got another 10 percent on it i also put in our discount um which brought it in uh i've already put it in once but i just thought i'd give you the code if you want to use it so it brought it down we got down to 66 pounds 15. so what's that mean <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. So between having a replica such as this, which takes, you know, six weeks to get to you and may not fit well, okay? And having an actual legitimate jersey, uh, let me just get you the jersey up. So as you can see, this is a Mitchell and Ness Hardwood Classic Swingman, you know, having the legitimate jersey um, against, you know, the replica, which you don't know how it's going to fit and you don't know what it's going to feel like. As you can see, it's got the Mitchell and Ness logo there, but whether that's, well, it's obviously not real. It's got the Harwood Classic, so they've just ripped it off. So the difference between having, you know, a Hardwood Classic an original piece and a fake one from uh, wish.com is 28 pounds 28 pounds yeah 28 pounds just threw me that I saw the 28 on the screen so you know I would I would pay that additional 28 pounds just to make sure that I had an original piece because you know what you're going to be a lot more happier with the jersey you get from the NBA store than you are from wish.com furthermore you know you can return this. Yes, you can return stuff on uh, wish.com, but it's got a long way to go back to, whereas um, the jersey on NBA store, you can return it and uh, you can get your money back if it's not if it doesn't meet your um, requirements. Uh, you know, 30 days. Obviously, you can get a return here. It does mention returns somewhere, but you know what? Like, just this package includes vest A1. Really? I want a real one. So that's why I say go to NBA. You can get the different discounts. Check out how we did it on our um, best tips for discounts. Um, and, you know, use some of the things like I did here. Like I got 10% off a newsletter. I used the basketball noise discount code. And it made a, it made a difference. It got some money off. Uh, some money off is better than none. So that's my video about Wish.com. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Wish.com? What do you think about the fake jerseys on Wish.com? Uh, in one of the other videos, someone was like, 
dude, it's only 10 bucks, but now it's starting to get to 40 bucks. What do people think about fake jerseys now? How much would you pay for a fake jersey? Yeah. Big question. Put it in the comments.